my dudes, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here and you are into automotive content, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And then before we do continue this video, I just thought I'd share this something cool with you guys. Uh, these are a few parts that will be going out today. Most of them actually are going to one person. This is actually the banner that I plan on putting on um, the sliding door over there. But yeah, so the plan for this video is actually to put the spoons uh, back on the EG. Um, and then maybe later in this video, um, I might rearrange this, this whole part collection um, to basically create a car. I'm going to only use uh, cosmetics, um, however, we could even add bumpers and fenders, but I don't think I'm going to go to that extent. Um, the reason why I actually want to do this is because this is actually a full EK9 Type R uh, kit that is over here actually, as well as some rims as well. So I'll give some more detail as to all of the parts that is actually over here. But yeah, I'm going to start off with the EG right now because I am on a slight time crunch. I do actually want to rotate the tires on the EG as well so that there's no longer any tire lettering on as well. However, the tire shop closes at 1 and they will be closed tomorrow which is a Sunday as well as there's some uh, private shoot also happening tomorrow that I might attend but if I don't, I'll just end up the video with some FN2 content. So yeah guys, let's get this video started. Okay my dudes, so I know I have mentioned this before but I thought I might as well share it again with you guys. As you guys can see on uh, these studs over here, there is leftover pieces of these lugs. So as you guys can see in the inside over there, it breaks off and then basically remains on here. So this is actually the reason why I'm actually removing uh, these lugs and going with a little bit of a safer route. Um, so this is the ones that I'll be using. These do come in a powder coated black as well as in a chrome. Um, so if you guys are interested, please let me know. I'll leave my information in the description and they also do come with a cool lock nut to keep your valuable wheels safe. And then another cool thing I thought I might share with you guys is in order for you to remove this, uh, what I usually do is I use a flat and then I just heat it with a hammer over here and then but this will basically chip off and then the lugs will be uh, able to go easier over these studs. And then another thing you guys might have noticed is my rotors are actually very worn as well as I've never sprayed these calipers. They are actually still the gold form underneath this. As you guys are aware, I am the second owner so the first owner obviously never did this. So this is something I'll be doing in future. I'll also be cleaning up my BC coilovers a little bit as well as I do have um, a camber kit as well that I'll be fitting um, as well as you guys can also purchase that from me as well. So yeah, I'll leave my information in the description. I'm just going to remove this and then we can basically fit on these new lugs. Okay. 
Okay guys, so I just finished up removing all these pieces from the lug. And as you guys can see now, it turns way more better in and out. So that's just a cool trick I thought I'd share with you guys. A, a lot of, of uh, my friends actually ended up removing these studs, not knowing that you could actually do that. But yeah, just so that I'd share that cool trick with you. And then another cool thing uh, I thought I'd mention is Obviously, uh, it's too late for the tire shop, so we're not going to be able to actually um, rotate these tires. What I plan on doing is trying to actually repair uh, the tire lettering. As you guys know, this wheel was actually on the Yaris, so it looks a little bit more worn out than the rest. Um, we actually pulled off these pieces because I thought today I'll definitely be removing it. But I am going to try to repair it for the last time. Uh, so this will be the last time that you guys will ever see this Dunlop um, lettering on um, the spoon wheels as well. So this is what the EJ looks like. Uh, most of the filming that I did actually seem to have cancelled. However, this is what the EJ looks like. Pretty much still looks the same. I just said, put my old wheels back on the other side as well. And then I tried to clean up the tire lettering a little bit, um, which won't obviously last that long because we will be um, transferring this wheel to that wheel and that wheel to this side. So that means that the tire lettering will then be on the inside. And then I'm just going to use this area to basically show you guys or showcase um, the type art parts that I have and a few other parts as well. I just wanted to interrupt this video uh, just to let you guys know a fellow youtuber of mine Etienne all the way from Victoria came to visit me yesterday um, to come collect a few parts I might just show you guys the parts that he has collected um, in a future video however the reason for me making this video is to let you guys know that Etienne will be having a meet and greet at um, N1 City on this coming Thursday and I might just be there as well what I might also do is maybe bring a few merch um, like I have on right now as well as some banners and stickers to give you guys as well. So yeah guys, please come check us out at N1 City on this coming Thursday 
and enjoy the rest of this video. Okay guys, so as promised, we created a invisible car using parts supplied by STM. It started for the front, like I told you, majority of these parts are actually for an EK9 type R. But bear in mind, most of these parts I can literally get for your car. So if we're referring to a lip, um, we can get yourself a, a, a lip for your golf or whatever the case may be. And if we're referring to visors, um, we could get you visors for your Toyota. And if we're referring to rims, we can get you rims for your BMW. So let's start with in front. This is an EK9 Type R front lip for old spec. Um, and this is also the grill. And then also I just threw in a Mugen grill as well. Um, this is also the badge that is allocated on um, the bonnet. And just to make it very much, um, or how can I say, a lot authentic, um, we actually have the correct sizing. So the rear one is a tiny little bit uh, bigger than the front, um, as it should be on the original EK9 Type R. And then uh, moving towards the side, um, the most noticeable thing will obviously be the ink guys. Um, as you guys know, this is reps. However, we do have the correct um, decal to make it look a little bit more original. So that is something that we'll be doing as well. And then also for your VTEC guys or twin cam guys, um, 180E, we do have uh, center caps as well as steering wheel hubs, as well as quick releases, batteries as well. Um, like I mentioned, visors and obviously coilovers, various coilovers, PC, uh, Netnevo, Race, LAN, IRC obviously. And then moving to the rear, this is also a rear um, EK9 type R lip. We do have the exact same lip for the Ballard as well, which will just be extended and it will obviously be for EJ as well. And then this is um, the EK9 uh, rear wing. This is the rear wing as well as the base plate. You can take the wing itself and mount it to your, your current wing, but I obviously recommend it. Um, with the base plate making it more authentic um, a few other wings we do have is the Seeker wing and Bomax and then this is also a Mugen wing if you have a Ballard and this is also a rear visor if you have a Ballard as well so we even do have Mugen kits so this is a Mugen rear wing that will obviously go with the Mugen uh, front grille and then yeah that's about it we even do have uh, we even do have the Type R um, decal for the side as well as the rear as well. So yeah guys, I thought I might just share this with you guys um, and maybe give you an explanation as to what STM is also. So for you guys who do not know what STM stands for, it stands for South Africa Domestic Market. It comes from the name JDM. So a lot of guys as well as myself um, is very into JDM and their culture. So I'm using my channel to basically create um, or showcase um, STM to other countries. So maybe creating STM uh, and with the hopes of STM growing as big as JDM. And we can show the Americans what STM is all about and the parts that we have, etc. So yeah, that is what STM is all about. Um, the reason also why I went with that name, it's a general name. And it's basically for you guys, so for you that... Okay guys, so my battery just died as well as I got a little caught up with a customer that was collecting a few parts. However, like we were saying, STM is a company that is created for you guys as South Africans to basically source all the parts that you desire by one shop. Besides the rear parts, I can also assist you guys with uh, replacement parts like CV joints, batteries, um, fenders and bumpers etc. And then also for you guys that are also in the automotive industry, please make contact with me so I can basically showcase uh, what you guys can supply and we can basically supply the whole of South Africa as well as the whole of the world and basically show what South African domestic market is all about. Another thing I also just like to mention is, as you guys know, uh, I built this EG, um, how can I say, by myself. 
obviously with the help of a few people however finding the parts for this eg took me approximately um, i would say eight years because some of the parts actually came off um, my white car so it was kind of difficult for me to find all of those parts and to be honest with you i wish there was an stm that could assist me back then to find all these parts so there is an stm now for you guys to find all those parts so please make contact with me and i'll try to assist you the best i can also guys to show my appreciation um, i actually have a few car washes left over as well as some uh, wong spec banners as well so if you guys would like to win that please mention in the comment section something like stm the world screenshot your comment uh, screenshot that you subscribe maybe just uh, send it to me on uh, instagram that way i can notify you that you actually won the prize so yeah guys what i'm going to do right now is also um, i am going to add this decal to these uh, replicated wheels this is also another thing that we strive to do at stm uh, i am going to actually do some research and go the extra mile and add these decals on the correct place where it should be uh, so that the customer basically has a cheaper wheel but it still has the effect of an original wheel so that is also what we strive to do here i use uh, the knowledge that i have from being a car enthusiast and implementing it in how can i say the parts that i do supply some of the parts obviously is authentic some of the parts aren't um, as you guys know the south african market isn't as great as the us or uh, the uk for example so we have a certain market which is stm south african domestic market but anyway guys i'm going to continue this video hope you guys enjoy it going to be a short section um, I have a very interesting car here with a very interesting color so I just thought I'll share this with you guys um, this is an Accord a CL9 Accord um, the color is called Mocha Pearl and if you guys can see it's like a purplish color but the uh, more insane thing that I want to show you is that uh, look at this wing um, I don't know if you can see it like it has a choke on it uh, this is um, Hydra Dip so this is a wing that I can supply and this is also something that I can obviously offer you guys as well if this is something that you're interested in. Let me just give you guys a, a close up as well and if you guys can see is the choker, looks cool. So obviously the wing isn't fitted yet, um, we're going to fit it right now. So I'm just going to use some YouTube magic and fit it onto um, this mockable uh, CL9 Accord. Okay guys, just like that, we put to the wing, just have to add um, some masking tape just to keep it um, steady. But other than that, the wing is all fitted. I think this is a very cool idea actually, that the customer had to either dip it with a choke on. Uh, let me just give you guys a full walk around on the car. Um, like I mentioned, this is actually a very rare color. The customer also has um, the Android um, head unit. This is the front of the car. Um, also, you guys will maybe notice that there's no disc. <laughs> this was actually taken, uh, I think, today or yesterday. I think for no number plate, whatever the case may be. But other than that, I'd say the score is pretty much uh, legal. But yeah, it's heading towards December and the cops are getting a bit hectic now with their fines. Um, but yeah, I was actually yesterday at the races with Francis and his S2000 and they actually took a few of the guys discs as well they even impounded someone's car as well if i'm not mistaken please mention in the comment section if i'm correct but yeah i'm gonna end this section of the video hope you guys enjoyed it
Ik heb het niet gezien. 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 Ik he